Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, colleagues, I rise uh, not only as a senator, but as vice chair of the California Latino Legislative Caucus and in strong support of ACA 5, five by Dr. Weber. Prop 209 was passed in 1996, and it prohibited race and gender conscious remedies that rectified the underrepresentation of women and people of color, black employment, contracting, and education. These programs were designed not to take some people's opportunities away. Rather, it was to expand equal opportunity for people of color and women who were then and still today largely excluded from school and business and job opportunities due to the historic and systemic male preferences and racism. That included proactive efforts in state hiring and contracting, as well as efforts by the University of California and state university system to help give protective, prospective students of color and business owners an equal opportunity to attend, attend one of the excellent university campuses or get a chance at a government business contract. Government contracts are incredibly valuable for setting up small businesses for success. This is especially true for businesses owned <coughs> by women and minorities who must overcome long-standing obstacles to success that have nothing to do with their hard work or their ability to innovate. In the 1990s, California was one of the top performing states in terms of contracting with women and minority entrepreneurs. In the last 20 years, California has dropped to one of the two worst performing states relative to our diversity, putting it in company with much less racially diverse states like Nebraska and Vermont. In the education sector, race-blind admissions policies that select applicants based on purportedly objective metrics like SAT scores or recommendation letters only reinforce existing inequalities. Such systems award coveted enrollment slots or jobs to those who can afford expensive test prep courses or who live in privilege. These application factors do not recognize the tremendous challenges and obstacles and talents that many students of color, often from under, underserved communities face, challenges that today have been exacerbated by COVID-19. Los Angeles County, the largest public school system in, in the U.S. Uh, and the state of California, the second largest public school district um, serving more than 700,000 students. It's estimated that more than half of the families in the district have endured a job loss during the pandemic. As a result, many working age students had to look for work or pick up more hours at jobs they already had because their families needed help covering living expenses. There is a real feel, fear, fear that for some of those kids, this may push them to drop out of high school. We have to recognize their struggle and recognize that actions need to be taken to ensure that they do not fall through the cracks in the system and never have the chance to reach their full potential. How is it that California is still own one of only eight states to have an anti-equal opportunity ban and yet is the most diverse? With ACA on the ballot and with the voters' approval, what does that mean? Fair hiring practices for women and people of color. Sister, uh, colleagues, I'm proud to say that I, as many others, am the product of an affirmative action program at St. Mary's College. ACA 5 will strengthen our state, and with that, I urge your I